Ithaca, Ithaca is such a diverse town, and yet we sometimes don't have that diversity reflected um, in our community. Doa Abdul Ghani is one of 750 Muslim residents in Ithaca, New York. She prays five times a day and raises her family practicing the Muslim culture. However, there is one problem. They don't have a permanent mosque. All they have right now is a rented space in downtown Ithaca and the One World Church at Cornell University. My parents have been in Ithaca, New York since 1981. And since 1981, we have used the um, one World Room at Cornell University as a prayer hall for Friday congregational prayer. Thirty some odd years, right, of having that room and sometimes not being able to reserve it is definitely a, a drawback, you know. Nagi Anlaka says the idea of a permanent mosque has been ongoing for 50 years. Um, we've just purchased land and, and changed the zoning for the land. Mm -hmm. And then the next step is to raise funds to actually have the building built. The Al Huda Center hopes to raise a minimum of $50,000. This place will be a religious, educational, and social center. I know what it feels like growing up without a place like this, and it's nice to see how my children, you know, have a place where they can feel that they're accommodated. Now the construction for this project has not yet began because the project is still in its fundraising mode. However, when the goal for the money is met, it will be built here at 112 Graham Street in Ithaca, New York. Now, this place will be called the Al Huda Islamic Center, and this mosque will be for anyone that wishes to come in and explore the Muslim religion. Reporting for ICTV, I'm Angela Poffenbaugh.